I've got a fun little surprise for us today right here. It is the James Bond Villains and Henchmen trading cards. It was $110 on Upper Deck's website. Bought it direct from them. We've got uh, five cards per pack, 18 packs per box. One actor, autograph card, and bonded materials, memorabilia card per box. So two pretty cool hits. Uh, again, I paid about yeah, 110 for this. And uh, let's see, five times 18 is uh, 90, so a little over a dollar per card. What I'll do is I'm gonna, uh, if I get any cool villains that were in the Golden Eye uh, Nintendo 64 game, I'll keep those. Everything else I am selling on eBay. That is uh, how I enjoy this hobby the most. So we're gonna open this up. I'll show you the cards, and uh, we'll give some values on the more rare ones. Very excited for this one. We're looking at the James Bond villains and henchmen box. It's a, uh, you know, I guess it's a hobby box. It's, it's you know, it's not like a blaster box or a hanger box. Uh, we've got the odds on back. We're going for autos and mem cards. Okay, here's what happened. I filmed the unboxing. The file was corrupted. Can't show you me opening the packs, but I do have all the cards here. And this is actually better because now... The pacing of the video is going to be a lot faster, so we're, I'm going to go through and show you all of the base cards. Then we'll see the uh, uncommons and then the rares. And we actually got two autographs, which is pretty cool. Uh, they only advertised one, but we'll go through these cards. We'll show you how the base cards look, and then we'll see the uh, the more uncommon ones and then the rare ones. You know, that's how life is. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't work out, and you got to keep on going. So there's uh, Anthony Dawson. Joseph Wiseman, I'm not going to say all their names, but just, I don't know, get a look for, uh, I like this personally, very clean, very nice looking cards, there's Ivana Milicevic as Velenka, Gert Frobe as Auric Goldfinger, Luciana Paluzzi as Fiona Volpe or Volp, Grace Jones as Mayday, and I'll just start showing the cards now. What I was saying I was going to do is a uh, pretty cool one there as well. I'm going to list, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, there's about 100 cards in the set. And so I think what I'll do, I've got about 70 here. That's how many were left after all of like the rare ones uh, were taken out. So I've got 30 more I have to buy to have a complete set. I'm going to buy the complete set. I'll sell it as a set. Probably for a uh, hundred bucks or 150 bucks, uh, and that's how I'll make my money back. And then I'll sell all of the uh, the fancy cards, with the exception of one that I want to keep um, for whatever their market value is. And I figure the market value is probably uh, going to be I don't, I, I don't know four or five bucks a card, maybe ten bucks for the autographs. There's no one too fancy. There's one pretty cool acetate card that I think might be a short print. So we'll see that. You're seeing uh, Maria Grazia Cucinata as Cigar Girl right now. Andreas Wazinski as Necros. Lawrence McCora as Mr. Kill. Jerome Crabb as General Georgi Kuskov. Wayne Newton, that was a cool one too. There's a few in here like uh, Grace Jones as Mayday. Uh, you know, where there, where there are celebrities. There's the Dave Batista card in here, too, that I thought was pretty cool. We'll see that in a, well, you know, I haven't seen it yet. Ricky Yoon, Will Yun Lee, Rosamund Pike, Michael Gorvoy, Goldie, that's a guy, too, right? As the Bull. And on the back of the card, it has a little bit about the movie. The Bull was the bodyguard for businessman and former KGB agent Valentine Zivkovsky. Uh, but a secret informant for Electric King. After Bond was presumed killed by uh, Edna King's oil pipeline, the bull spotted him and Dr. Christmas Jones at Zikovsky's caviar factory and called in a tip to the king. And uh, so that's from, what movie is that from? The World is Not Enough. We've got Ernest Starvo Blofield as portrayed by Donald Plaisance. Maybe that's not how you say it. Uh, I don't really know. Ola Rapace or Rapace or Rapace as Patrice. There we go. Dave Batista as Mr. Hinks. 
Mr. Hanks was a gargantuan sullen assassin who sought to gain recognition inspector by hunting down the uh, enigmatic Mr. White. What a, what a, he's really reinvented himself after his time as a professional wrestler. Robert Davi, that's a cool one. Sophia Marceau. Putter Smith. <laughs> who's that guy in, who's, who's uh, opposite of Will Ferrell in Step Brothers? He looks just like him. <laughs> I forget his name. Joseph First. Christoph Waltz. That's a pretty cool one. Also from Spectre. Sean Bean as Trevelyan, Walter Gotel, Louis Jordan, William Lee, and Jesper Christensen as Mr. White. So those are all the base cards. I like them a lot. Uh, I'm not going to list them individually. I think it might just take too much time. But now what we're going to see is the uh, cards I will list individually. And that's uh, Ernest Starvo Blowfield as portrayed by, uh, who is it? I forget. We saw his name. A name I said incorrectly, I'm sure. These are the master plan cards. The master plan inserts are one in 1.67, so you're going to get about three a box. Yes, I did get three in this box. This one is Brad Whitaker from The Living Daylights, a disgraced former West Point cadet turned weapons dealer. Red Grant from... Rum Russia with Love. And here's the upper hand. We have two upper hands. And upper hands are supposed to be one in ten, so we got a little bit lucky on this. One in ten. We got James Bond in the tank, Pierce Brosnan, and then we got James Bond uh he harpooned a guy, stole his uh scuba gear, and that's how he uh, had the upper hand there. Now uh as quoted, I, this is the one card I'm keeping here, uh, the odd job. As quoted now these as quoted they're not too rare uh, we're really only looking at like let's see one in four so we're gonna we're supposed to have like five four or five we have four so I'm not so lucky on these but I'm gonna keep this one this is the you know from my Nintendo 64 days everyone loved odd job uh, Rosa Club Hugo Drax and Gustav Graves then there's the allies and colleagues allies and colleagues uh, I believe that's one and two, so we should have nine of these. We've got Live and Let Die, Live and Let Die. But it's a, I guess it's a different, a different James Bond there. That's kind of cool. This one's number AC17. That's AC18. Her Majesty's Service, for your eyes only. Octopussy, you only live twice. For your eyes only, for your eyes only, and then Casino Royale. That's probably the James Bond movie I'm most familiar with. Now the uh, the insert. So this is an acetate, just like base card, and putting it in this top loader kind of um, it's it's not as transparent. Uh, so this one is obviously Luciana Paluzzi. The acetates are 1 in 12, and the short prints are 1 in 43. So I'm pretty... I'll just show you that card. It's a little bit easier to see when it's not near everything else. I guess for the rest, I'll just pull one card at a time. Um, I think this is just a regular base because it matches... Eh, I guess it isn't blue, but it just blue doesn't look very fancy. And then I got this one. It might be matching the, the color of the card because I got a Grace Jones insert, and I thought this might be a short print because it's red. Uh, like a parallel of sorts, a view to kill, uh, Mayday was the girlfriend and personal assistant of industrialist and KGB defector, Max Zorin. This is my favorite card, I think, out of all these. Uh, I'm going to sell this. I'll probably, I'm not going to sell it with the, with the base card. I thought about that initially. I'm not going to. Not sure what this is. I think what I'll do is as the video plays, I'll look up the value and put it in on the screen somewhere. I got the autographs. We got two autos. Which is more, you're supposed, on, on the box, um, it says, I'll show you, uh, one actor and one mem, or one mem card and one auto card per box. And we got more than that, which is pretty cool. We got two autos. So this is Michael Kitchen as Bill Tanner from GoldenEye and Colin Salmon as Charles Robinson. 
Doesn't say who they are in the movies. Uh, I don't recall. Star signings is the more common auto, but Dig It 2 is pretty neat. If you remember who these guys are, I would love to hear in the comments below like what their what their uh, portrayal was in the, in these movies because I don't I didn't look it up. Oh, I'm sure I'll look it up after the video is posted. But a cool way to engage with you as viewers. So then finally our two thick cards. We've got crystal clear one per box. Francisco Scaramanga, the man with the golden gun. A stylish killer who believed he had no peer. That's nice. And then this card is so thick it wouldn't even fit in my extra 120 thick point top loaders. Naomi Harris as Eve Moneypenny. Uh, and this would be from, let's see, it's from Spectre. The 2015 film Spectre. It seems like it's not that old, but man, <laughs> time, time sure does fly. And these are her trousers. You can see right there. That's a, you know, we don't know if it's actually what was worn on screen. It doesn't say, I wish it said like on screen, uh, but this is just something that was used. And so this could be, you know, someone who was just acting as like a double for the, the, the framing of the screen. They wore this to make sure like the color looked fine on camera. Not sure. Could have been just like, oh, this size is too big. Uh, still, though, cool to have a, a piece of Naomi Harris's pants. <laughs> They're called bonded materials. And uh, that's the uh, that's the set. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm sorry I couldn't show you the unboxing. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite James Bond movie is, what your favorite card is, uh, and if you think this is worth 110 bucks. And it, well, you know, <laughs> what do you think I should do next? Um, besides, make sure that my my camera card does not corrupt when I film stuff. Love to hear your comments, and I'll see you guys later.